So the meeting with Lippman is all set. He's the editor in chief. Mm. <laughs> I think because of your request. Demand. Mm -hmm. They're gonna promote me to editor. Darn to ten. <laughs> There's Ray, late as usual. Well, this is an unexpected surprise and delight. The once and future king of comedy, Jerry the First, gracing our humble abode. Rather, we are in the presence of royalty. Hey, Ray, listen. You really did a tremendous job cleaning that apartment. Oh, but I didn't just clean your apartment. It was a ritual, a ceremony, a celebration of life. Shouldn't you be out on a ledge somewhere? <laughs> the water's boiling. Are we all having tea? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jerry? Jerry. What? Ray, would you give me a hand, please? <sighs> yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> I think that's a statue from my house. That looks like the statue from my house. <laughs> what statue? I had a statue. You have a statue? I never saw a statue. My grandfather gave me a statue. Since when? What's the difference? That's the one. He ripped me off. This guy ripped me off. Do you take sugar? Um, no. No. <laughs> I can't believe it. This guy ripped me off. Do you realize what you're saying? Yes, this guy ripped me off. He stole the statue right out of my house. Lemon? Um, sure. No. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. 99% sure. 99% sure. Ah, sweet elixir. It's fragrant nectar, a soothing balm for the soul. <laughs> oh, those are the pastries. Ray, take care of that. I'm going to get you laying the manuscript. Ah, uh, the pastries. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it just looks the same. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Coincidence? This guy's in my apartment, and then just by coincidence, he has the exact same statue in his apartment. I never saw any statue. I had a statue. <laughs> what should I do? I'll call Kramer. He can check my house. Don't, Jerry. Don't blow this for me. Don't worry. Kramer. Kramer. It's Jerry. Jerry. From next door. Never mind where I am. Yes, Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Ma, I told you, just dip the bread in the batter and put it in the pan. Okay, bye. My mother. She forgot how to make French toast. You know how mothers are. My mother left us when I was six years old. All seven of us. We never heard from her again. I hope she's rotting in an alley somewhere. My mom's down in Florida. She's got a, one of those condos. <laughs> Hot down there in the summer. You ever been down there? I love these pastries. You know, in Scandinavian mythology, the pastries were the food of the gods. Listen, uh, I just remembered I'm uh, getting a facial. Oh, I'll see you uh, tomorrow morning. <laughs> uh, how about dinner? No, I don't eat dinner. Dinner's for suckers. 